hi everyone welcome back to my channel and for today i'm gonna do my weekly analysis para sa sunod simana nga trading so i'm gonna start with gold and mao ni ang akong paagi para sa pag-analyze sa market and how to trade the market so first of all i will go to weekly chart mo na yun nakita karon mo na yung weekly chart then on weekly chart ako ang ibutang diha ang line chart para makita na ko ang mas detalye asa napita ang uh, support resistance zone k level on weekly chart mao yung gipangita ang pinaka significant k level basis sa price uh, basis sa current nga price movement and by the way pasensya mo kung naay ah uh, sahay ma starter kong istorya or di ko kalitok tarong pasensya na yun kayo kaya kaniya kong mga video di ginin ako siya i-edit uh, raw raw ginin siyang uh, recording direct once uh, mahuman kong record record upload rin siyo para wanay daghang kuan chichi burit siwa so I'm gonna do the line chart muna siya so on line chart basihan ako ang pinaka current price movement so current price movement sa gold 127.70 and ang akong gipangita is weekly kill level so on para pag spot sa weekly kill level akong ibutang ang asang area ha ang support resistance zone nga na reject siya pabalik-balik ang akong gi-require is 3 to 5 times nga rejection on that uh, specific zone. So, kani siya ako ni siyang kuluran o mao na ako ang weekly hill level. Money key level na ko for the week. And now na to atong ipon. One, two, three. Wat ka ba kung mubreak pa ba na siya pa ubos or daily? Wat ka ba kung siya sunod mo yung tabo at this coming week? So, one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 8, yeah. So, kapasar na siya. So, after ano, ako po na i-spot asa, posible, padulong ang price sunod si Mana or sa sunod pa ganyan mga simana so after ana add to ko sa daily time frame sa daily time frame ako apong i-spot ang pinaka significant sa kung asa posible mo add to ang price for next week pinaka significant nga zone kung asa ang price pwedeng mo balik I'm gonna change this color blue then 1 2 3 4 5 6 this one is valid sa obos pinaka valid na to Uh, pwedeng dere wala siya 
On a bigger, bigger picture, we're only bullish siya uh, gikan November 2018. We're only bullish market. So, possibly pa bang mo break siya pa obos, continue pa obos, or posibleng mo taas o balik o atakabalo. So, ang sunod nga zone na to, asa posible mo add to ang price. Let's see, ani, pending a zone. One, become resistance, then price breaks. Two, three, become resistance. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this zone is valid. Nine, ten. So, kani pwede ni siya mao ni ako ang zone dere. Then after ana, once na identify na nako. Na ano to ang candle nga chart niya. On a bigger picture since 2018. We're on a bullish market. Ang current na itong uh, market karon from the past 6 months since December February 2019 December or 5 months since February 3 months since February is August kita na to there is August di ba so unsa may atong uh, at ngan para sunod si mana ning gold so possibly price could retrace again Gikan Gikan ane Gikan di ring a zone Sa weekly nga Kill level Pwede ang price Musaka pa balik Then Balik pa boss Or it can go Down Mu break ane nga zone Touches again na uh, It touch niya ang kani nga Kani nga zone dere daily kill level mo touch siya ani possibly pod nga musaka siya pabalik kay we're only consolidation on a lower time frame on lower time frame on bigger time frame weekly and daily makita na to since february is down trenta bearish market di ba Lower low, lower high. The rewa mo siya mo kwan, but na lower high. Then it breaks again, lower low, lower high. Then the re, wa siya mo lower low. It didn't close below this uh, candle. Then nisaka siya babalik, but wa siya mo close above sa lower high. So nahimun siyang lower low, then niobos. Possibly mo sa cash balik. Okay. Kani nga consolidation gi break man niya. Mo na kay consolidation na. There's no such a big movement nga nahita bo from April uh, 24 up to May 12. Diba? Naaragya po siya nga zone. Kini nga zone nga key level. On a weekly time frame. So, posible ang price musaka pa pataas. So, ako na siyang atngan. Kaning gold. Atnganin akong gold. Tanganan akong uh, marking. 
So, pabuto ni nako on daily time frame nag-close siya og red candle. But on 4 hour, which 4 hour and 1 hour may akong basihan sa akong trade. Ano sa akong mo involve on 4 hour layo ta sa uh, EMA moving averages. So possibly ang price mo retrace din mo before siya mo balik pa ubos. Or it can go up to this level again. On daily key level. Ang price possibly mo saka pataas. Saka pataas ang price niya. Or di rirakutob. Then mo ubos. So on one hour time frame. Which is much... Uh, detalye ang iyahang candlestick mao niyang nahitabo sa uh, gold sa iyang candlestick by the way, na-involve ko ano niya after ano nga consolidation pag break ano it breaks Naka-involve ko ani kaninga level. Dere nga level. Then ang akong stop uh, take profit is just above ani nga uh, level dere. Moya ko ang take, pro take profit. So karon I'm waiting considering ng um, reversal on lower time frame. Maybe it can reverse It can reverse up to, let's check it's Fibonacci. Maybe around 382. It can reverse 382 to 0.5. Then price might gonna go down again or it can continue to go up. We don't really know. Monayat nga na to. But for now, Wala pa ko yung rason para mo involve ane. Eh. I still waiting for the next candle. Kung unsay dagan sa sunod nga candle ane. Eh. If it's engulfing, bullish engulfing candle, I might gonna make a trade. And if bearish engulfing candle, I'll wait again for a possible double bottom. Let's check its uh, extension, extended price niya. Yeah, we reach up to 1.618. So, possible. Possible yun nga musaka ni siya. Let's check the swing low, swing high uh, retracement. Reach to almost reach 0.786. Yeah, so I'll be waiting for this one. Nga mupakita confirmation candle na ko sa sunod nga mga adlaw. If there's a bullish engulfing candle, I'm gonna trade this uh, pair long position. And ang akong possible target. Around swing low, swing high. Yeah. So, money on mag long position go if ever maka enter ko ane around this area, this price. Or at this price here, depending if there's a double bottom, possible maka entry ko dere or bullish engulfing candle around this level. So, kung maka entry mga ni ko, ang akong possible nga 
trader ni mao ni mahitabo ang akong target is three eighty two No, alanganin ko ani. Kung ari kung may entry dire, eh, alanganin ko kay we have a bearish market and so I'll just wait sa retracement ani. Eh. Then I'm gonna do a shorting position. So paabot ko ang price, mubalik at this area. this area, mubalik ang price ani. Then I'm gonna wait for the confirmation candle. Paubos. Maya kung uh, pabuto na ni. So ako ni siyang inote. Wait for the pullback of the price. at 0.382 level to notchy level so money ang dagan sa XCUSD how about uh, AUD CAD AUD CAD Mm -hmm. Still, uh, it might still gonna go down more. If ever the price comes back at this zone, then I'll maybe I'm gonna go for a short uh, trade down in here if it goes back at this zone, this uh, weekly kill level. USD CAD. Na ana ko y analysis ani since uh, last week mo ni ako analysis but price didn't go as sa akong analysis nga gihimo makita ninyo May 10 May 10 na sa mang May 10 dire oh May 10 ma dire nag close ang morning close sa market on May 10 kan dire but price continues to go up Continues to go up, then consolidate, break, comes back again. Dere, I thought I get involved ani day. Nag na involved ko ani at this uh, area. Dere mo siguro to. Kani kani nga after ani nga drop, I get involved, set my stop loss above. But it hit my stop loss. It goes up to 1.34 but comes back again. Hit my stop loss. So right now. Ni pa obos na po siya. Makita nyo na ko yung mga drawing there eh. But as of the moment. Wala ko yung trade ng buha to na ni. And use the GPY. Use the GPY, I'm still on this uh, trade. Ang akong entry ani, akong gibasihan ang Euro USD. Last week, USD was really strong. The moment I spot the opportunity uh, nga gipakita sa USD, so akong gitanaw ang USD GPY nga pair, it drops up to this level but because of the trend line and the trend line money akong gibasihan na naay rejection na itabo so wa ko magduduha og trade ani so ang akong target 110.286 almost hit target but wa siya wala pa ma close so, we'll see kung next next week 
still the USD currency are strong or it can get weak if if it's still strong then possibilities price for uh, USD GPY will likely to go up more so euro GBP so I'm waiting for this one still waiting makita ninyo kanik daily kill level I'm waiting for this one to reach up to this uh, zone GBP GPY nothing really happened so still looking for possible downward movement up to this scale level GBP USD still waiting up to this uh, daily key level USD NZD USD so NZD USD it breaks this uh, daily kill level so price might gonna go down more if you is this strong if you is this still strong so price might still gonna go down more AUD USD yeah I'm still waiting for this one up to reach up to this zo zone then euro usd which is uh i'm still on a trade so i'm still looking forward na mubos ni siya so for next week maoragin ni siya euro uh, gold dry ako ang at nga nani eh. as much with the other pair of currency wala kayo yung mga opportunity pa kayo so paabot ako uh, trading is a waiting game and if you cannot wait then possible you're gonna lose money I I'm already uh, experiencing it and it's not really feel good it's really disappointing but when you're new and before bag pa sa trading I started trading since uh 2016 started with stock market, full the stock market, then 2017 to 2018 been trading for binary option, but still in binary option, gilatig ko jug tama na to. So I decided to trade forex na gyud. So buo na nga akong decision nga forex na lang yung i-trade. So I start trading forex sa uh, late 2018. With my experience sa uh, Philippine stock market and binary option trading and uh, taking courses on forex trading so I came up, came up on my own strategy my own uh, analysis I made my own uh, way of uh, analyzing the market so diri lang da kutub have a great day na tong tanan once again this is QFX Trader uh, God bless sa inyo ha and hopefully na mo yung nakatunan sa ako ang channel and if you like this video and please drop that uh, like button and if you want to know more about, uh, watch, if you want to watch more about my analysis and forex videos then you can click the subscribe button so dere lang takutob have a great day, Natong Tanan. Bye-bye.